Yo, what's good people? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ram. In today's video, it's another sneaker review. I'm so excited to bring you this review today because I've been after these sneakers for quite a while now, but I haven't found a colorway that I like. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Yeezy 700 V3 in the brown clay colorway. I'll be looking at the design, materials used, and I'm also going to be looking at Yeezy brand in general. Is the hype fading? Is the hype still here? Let's get into the video, but before we do that, as always, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below, hit the bell so you know when I drop a new video. So many more videos coming. So this is the latest colorway from the Yeezy 700 V3. I think we've had four now. And I have to say for all the latest Yeezy models to be released, I think this is definitely my favorite, the 700 V3. I'm just not a fan of the 380s. There's just something about them. It just doesn't work for me. But obviously, I said before, I've been wanting a pair of these, but I haven't found a colorway that I actually liked. As soon as I saw these were announced, I knew I had to get a pair of them because I really like the colorway. It's just really, really different. And that's why I like the 700s. It's just very futuristic. There is literally nothing on the market that looks like these. They just look really, really different. And that's why I really like these. So these sneakers released in the UK on Saturday and the retail was £170 or $200 in the US. And they were very widely available. Everyone that I spoke to actually copped a pair of these. So they were really widely available. So if you didn't manage to cop a pair of these, just wait, you'll be able to cop these below retail at some point. And funnily enough, I've actually seen quite a few restocks on these already. So a lot of people, I reckon, bought these thinking they could resell them. And when there's no resale value to something, they tend to end up back at where they got them from. So that's why you're going to see quite a few restocks on these. So if you haven't caught them already, hold on for a little while. And I'm pretty sure you'll be able to cop these at retail, probably below retail. So let's have a closer look at the shoe, starting with the upper of the shoe. And you do get some nice laces on these. You get the new laces that you get on most of the newer models of the Yeezys. And I really like these because you pull them to tighten and you don't actually have to tie your laces. So that's really, really good. The only problem is you can't actually take them off. You can't change them unless you cut these laces off. And Yeezy do provide you in the box with a spare pair of laces if you do want to change these. You come to the front of the shoe and that's in all black as well. You come to the other side and that's in all black, different shades of black obviously with the brown clay streaks going through the middle. You come to the back of the shoe and it's the same story. The sock liner is very soft inside and inside you actually do get a nice insole with the branding for Adidas and Yeezy. The outsole is in all rubber and you get this really brown colour and in the middle of the bubble you do get this blue colour which is quite nice. In regards to sizing on this shoe, I went half a size up because I know with Yeezys they tend to squeeze my feet when I go off true to size. So I went half a size up on these but it was still really tight. So if you have wide feet, go a full size up on these. In regards to comfort, these sneakers are not comfortable at all. These are probably the most uncomfortable Yeezys on the market right now. Compared to the 350s, these are definitely not comfortable at all. There is no boost in this sneaker and I think that's why the price point is so cheap. The normal 700 V2s are £250 but these are £170. So you can see there is no boost and I think that's why it's so cheap. Quality and quality control. For me, this sneaker gets a 6 out of 10. It just looks and feel very cheap and I think that's the issue I have with this shoe. You can see the little glue marks on there as well. I'm not feeling that at all. I don't know what it is with this sneaker but it just feels and looks cheaply built. It looks mass produced and for that it's only a 6 out of 10 for me. It could be so much better but I think 6 out of 10 is very, very generous. The only thing that's good about this shoe is the design. The design on this is just so crazy. So futuristic. It looks like if an alien came down tomorrow, this is what they'll be wearing. I'm not going to mention resale in this video because there isn't much resale on this. And it's kind of a theme with new Yeezys. Like the restocks do really well on resale, but the newer models are not reselling like they used to be. And I think that's probably because they've been making a lot more stock. And that's good because everyone gets a pair of them. But I think if these sneakers dropped in 2016-17 when the breads dropped, people would lose their mind seeing something like that back then. But now, I think it's kind of the norm to see sneakers like this. And I think 
because of that Yeezys are not performing like they used to be I think some of the price points they're actually releasing the sneakers for are kind of high a normal Jordan 1 would be £130, £130, £170 but these are £200, £170 so it's a lot more than most of the other competitors and I don't really see why because the quality is not as great as you get on a premium Jordan 1 every single Yeezy to be released this year barring the restocks have bricked every single one of them I can't think of any Yeezy V3, 380s, 700s that have released this year that actually went up in value they're all going down and it, if they're not going down they're not going up as fast as they used to in the past they're all not really good investments so this is why if you're going to cop a pair of these make sure you cop them for personal because there's no resale on these whatsoever and I think that's a common theme with Yeezys going forward unless they start changing up the game putting some more stuff out I'm not really sure what it is but I think the hype for Yeezys is definitely on the low it's going down but that can all change so that's it for the video today people please remember if you find the information useful hit the subscribe button below hit the bell so you know when I drop a new video you don't want to miss any of my uploads and hit me in the comments and let me know what you think of these